Hi, my name is Pillow, and I am a top badge here on Tagged App. And if you're watching this video, I would love for you to download the app and come check me out live. In this video, you will learn how to become a top badge. Just some tips. If you follow these tips, you might become successful as well and become a top badge on here. So, to even apply to become a top badge, there's a couple things you need to do. You need to acquire 5,000 favorites. If you look at the top in the bubble with my name, you'll see I have 35,000 plus favorites, but you only need 5,000. After having, or while maintaining getting your 5,000 favorites, you need to accumulate 1 million diamonds. If you look at the top, I have 186 million plus diamonds. You need to also have 40 hours of streaming time. You need to treat this like it's a part-time job because it'll pay like a part-time job. And if you do it like it's a full-time job, it will definitely pay off like a full-time job. And you need to have entertaining content. We'll go over content a little bit later. Um, but show out, be unique. And also, you, after getting your top badge, you need to maintain making 80K, which is equivalent to $200 a week um, from your gifters. So if you are able to maintain getting 80K every week before the tax sees though, so I say maintain that before you even apply. So once again, it's 5,000 favorites, 1 million diamonds, 40 hours of streaming time, entertaining and engaging content. Also, you should abide by the content and conduct policy as well and be able to make 80K a week. Once you do those things, you go on the app and you apply. Yesterday, a girl came to my show and she thought Tag App just gives them out to you. No, they don't. There's an apply button up here. These are called banners. This is the rundown that gives you your chance to see who's going to become a top badge. Every Friday at 4 p.m. Eastern, Tag App goes live. They'll be featured in the number one spot on the app. And you can see who got their top badge tomorrow at 4 p.m. After that banner, if you slide over, it's Live Central. That's the tab that you want to click to apply. So once you click that tab, it'll redirect you to a whole nother page and it'll show four things here. That's the content and conduct. Read that, watch the um, whatever they have to offer there. It's informative to you because a lot of things people do on the app are wrong and they don't know why their pages get deleted or gone, but it's there to let you know what you're doing wrong. The next one is how to stream like a star. It's like a two minute version um, of telling you some quick tips to do to stream like a, a star. Very informative video. I encourage each and every person to watch it. Thank you for the gifts of love. I appreciate it. After that is how to be a top streamer. And that is the tab you need to click. Once you click the tab, it reads, how do I become a top streamer on tag? Top streamers are the best broadcasters on tag. We show our top streamers some love by offering perks, including a special top badge, which is the blue badge you see up under my name, a trending boost, which if you look at the beginning of the app under the live streaming, you'll see top badges and we rotate. Um, According to us being on live, I guess gifts and things like that. I'm not sure what makes us stay up there, but um, we do rotate up there. They offer broadcasting tips because we run out of ideas or our show. You don't want your show to get dull and dry and you become repetitive of the same thing. So they offer you broadcasting tips if you want new show ideas. They, offer all, they also offer us free VIP support because um, they want to know what we have going on with our app and what is wrong. Um, VIP support is free right now, so if you want to have free VIP, click that premium spot. So to apply, they list the same things that I had listed earlier, the 5,000 favorites, 40 hours of streaming time, the 1 million diamonds, and the entertaining, engaging content. And if you have those things, there's a apply here button right here. So you click that button. It will redirect you to another page, which is the application. And it reads in the first paragraph, everything that we just read um, on the following page. But the information that they want to know is your email address. If you do not have an email address attached to your account, you need to add one. 
because tag informs you by email only. So your phone number is not sufficient enough. So add an email to your account because they need it for you to even apply. They want your tag username. If your name ain't unique and different, it's a lot of queens, a lot of divas, a lot of kings, a lot of prince, a lot of the same common names. So put your tag username. They want your real full name and they want your phone number. Tag has been known to give you a call if they need to reach out and touch with you, get in touch with you. They want to know your primary language. They want to know how many diamonds you have accumulated. Some people think this is a tricky question, but it's really not even difficult at all because at the start of the application, they tell you that you need 1 million diamonds. So your answer should be 100,000 plus. They don't care how many diamonds you have on your account. They want to know how many you have total on your screen when you go live. So your answer should be the largest number on there, 100 plus. How often do you go live on tag? A few times a month, once a week, multiple times a week, or every day? My answer when I applied was every day. May, they want, also want to know your main social network. Is it YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, you now, Live Me, Lively, or other? Tag has been known in two instances that I know to give someone their top badge without having those requirements. So if you're popping on another site, let them know that and they will. A regular guy, his name was Hawk. He got his top badge. He had 4,500 faves. He had a following somewhere else, so tag badged him up. One more recently that everybody might have known of is when French Montana came to the app. Of course, he's a mega star, so they gave him his top badge as soon as he got here. Yes, I remember Hawk. I missed him. Um, they want to know your main social username. And they want to know how many followers you have on those other accounts. And then the next two questions are the most important things. Tell us about yourself in two sentences. Be unique and different in those two sentences and make it simple. Don't make it long and drawn out. Just make it really, really simple and tell them about yourself in two sentences. After that, they want to know, why do you want to become a top bad streamer? Only you can answer that question. Only you can tell them what's in your heart and what you want to do once you reach that platform. So make sure you fill out it completely and honestly and up to yourself with every answer on this question and um, they will look at it. When to apply is once a month. Once a month. Not every week, over and over again, tag sees you and they get thousands and thousands of thousands of emails. So apply once a month. Thank you, Fly God. Any questions? That's just the application. We have lots to go over. Any questions over the application and the um, things that you need? I'm not on Facebook, Travis. Hi, Rudy. Okay, back to the class since nobody has no questions. Um, Tag give you some rules once you become a top badge. They want to um, make sure your stream stays free of these things so it's better for your stream. So, no kids. Wait a minute, what if you don't have 5,000 faves? I wouldn't apply. I wouldn't apply. If you apply before, then I believe they're not even going to look at the application, but I'm not an admin, Roman, so I don't know for sure. Unless you like got a huge following somewhere else. Any more questions? Would you recommend changing your location to get more followers? Yes. We gonna go over that soon. Yes. Weekly. Every week. Okay, so tag. How do I, how do you see how many tops are on here? You go down the all time leaderboard. At the, you're welcome, B. At the beginning of the app, under live, it's a bunch of um, bars across the top. The first one is nearby, the next one is date, the next one is new, the uh, next one is favorites, and the last one is leaderboards. If you click the leaderboards, and you go to all time. Oh, I want to go to his profile. You go to all time. You'll see everybody listed all time. And then you'll go down the list and you'll see everybody has a badge. 
Yep. That's how you can see each and every one of them. Okay, so once you become a top badge, tag give you a set of rules that you have to abide by. I'm gonna give you these same set of rules right now so that you can abide by these rules while trying to become a top badge and you don't have to change anything you're doing because you already been doing them. So the first one is no kids. Nobody under 18 should be in your camera. And honestly, you shouldn't have your kids up running around or where you have to tend to them as well. Who wants to hear that? Go sit down, Christopher. Mommy is live right now. You know, you get in gifts and you gotta stop and tend to the kids. Get a babysitter. It'll pay off like a good job and you can pay the babysitter. So no kids is the first rule. No solicitation. Solicitation is no this for that. No, you can't send me a bear, Nisi, and I take a shot of alcohol. So no solicitation. No sleep casting. I've been so, so guilty of that. So, so guilty of going to sleep in my earlier stages of going live. Um, I wanted the favorite, so I would leave my phone open, or sometimes on me, sometimes not, and I would be asleep. But no sleep casting. How would you recommend someone who was a gifter transitioning into a streamer to improve their broadcast to become a top badge? I was that person. I started out on the app um, only gifting. It was so, so important. Thank you, love. It was so important for me to be the number one bubble. I don't know why I was just addicted to it. And in certain rooms, I just had to be the one. I just wanted them to say my name. I didn't know if they could see me, if it was real. I thought when the person got in the box, um, they were um, getting half of the gifts. So I would hold my gifts for the person I was giving them. been like, hurry, they hurry up. I remember RTC Queen, Taz used to be in her box all the time and talking and I sit there the whole stream like, I want to give her this carpet, but he in the box, he just needs to get out. And I didn't know that he didn't get part of the gift. I thought in my head, because nobody explained it to me, that the person in the box gets some of the gift, so I would hold him. Um, and then uh, I got in somebody's box because they thought I was fake. And when I got in the box, they was like, oh, you got a nice speaking voice. And you're easy on the eye, so maybe you, sh you should cut the camera on. And I did. And um, it was easy for me. This, this was so easy for me. And if you are a gifter and you truly feel like broadcasting is for you, then your stream would flourish if you put in the work for it. Understand that this is not an easy process. Yes, you make the money from home and it is great, but this takes true dedication, commitment, work, preparation. It's, it's so much that go into it behind before I cut the camera on because I don't want to come on here looking crazy. And yeah, I have my bad days where I come on my bonnet, you know, at least my face wash, cheap brush, you know, that, but, um, if you truly want to be a successful streamer, you'll set it up and have content for your every show. Your live wouldn't stop and be dry and dull. You would be entertaining without having to open your mouth and ask for a gift. They will hold your hearts because they truly do love you on their own without you asking them to. And if you gave it all of that all, I'm proof that a gifter can turn into a streamer. I hope I answered that for you, Sam. I'm gonna keep going with the rules. Thank you, love, I appreciate it. Um, so we did no kids, no solicitation, no sleep casting, no driving. It's so easy for us to set the phone up and be propped up and, hey, Sam, how you doing, girl? Beep, beep, oh my God. Tagged on what you did. So no streaming and driving. Um, fellas, no shirtless profile pictures and ladies, no bikini photos unless you are at the water park or the beach area. Um, no idle streaming. If you don't know what idle streaming, it is this. <laughs> there are several lives that you go into. 
and um, you just hear music or a television and nobody's in the screen. As a top badge, I'm not allowed. If I'm caught idle streaming is one of my um, rules I can lose my badge for. So we can't just idle stream. So break yourself of that habit and no sexual acts. And ladies, I'm here to say, because I wasn't taught this, I was doing more than you. And I'm not ashamed to say it because I know in the past, I can't take back none of what I did do. I was happy about my shape and my size and stuff. So yeah, I was a little flirty and a little strong, but I've learned that you can have on a turtleneck and a vest and still get the same amount of gifts as you sitting there with nothing on. So um, no sexual acts. I did what was called groping. I would rub my hand down my face, down my neck, around my boobs, and that's groping. And your life will get ended. So no sexual acts. You can be successful on here in your own way. Show your talent. Get on here and stand out. If you're good at doing hair, show them doing hair. If you're good at talking to people and keeping them entertained, and that's me. I'm a talker and a gamer. I love a gamble. So I'll have a game where you can do this to do that. So just show out is basically what I'm saying. And again, those are tag top rules. I'm going to go over them really, really quickly. No kids, no solicitation, no sleep casting, no driving, no shirtless profile pictures, no idle streaming, and no sexual acts. Okay? Any questions over the tag rules? Those are tags rules. Once you become a top streamer, I'm giving them to you now so that you can stop doing them now because you are in the makings to become a top. questions those are tags rules as a top badge I have a what happens when an account gets taken I have no clue I mean apparently they've done something wrong see okay let me tell you about mine my name was a sexually explicit term tag told me to change it they gave me three chances they emailed me each time and told me to ch change my name change your name and they changed it every time because I was winning contests and stuff like that. So they wasn't going to put the name, my name, what it was, up. And they told me that. And they was like, you do it again and we're going to take your account. I don't even remember how many diamonds I had. But I, I just know the fact that they gave me warnings. And I think sometimes when we hear about um, accounts getting taken and things are wrong, Tag probably done told you. And sometimes you don't even go open the email to see. So I can't be shirtless on my live if I want a badge. I wouldn't encourage you to. I wouldn't encourage you to. The my, my, my bot might take your chest area and think um, you are a female or they just see you like that. I wouldn't. I went, and what happened when the accounts get taken? They need to hear that 12 times. To hear what? About no kids? Purple, I can't control the people about the no kids. What happened if someone reports you? I've seen people get reported just because they're envy. Um, the reports work, but I mean, you can email them back. And if you have VIP and say you wasn't doing that, you got a chance for the band to come off. Me, fortunately, I'm a top, and we have the VIP, and when they did ban me and it was for false reasons, they removed it immediately. And, and I guess you need to find the person that's reporting you, that's envying you that hard, B, and block them from your stream so that they won't continue to do it. Hey, Lady B, please, if you can, give your advice on too sleepy or drunk. 
on if you're too sleepy or drunk, you should not be streaming. If you exhausted, why would you why would you be exhausted? Okay. And if you um drunk, then maybe you should cut your phone off because you might be doing something that you shouldn't be. The things that we know we shouldn't do on the live, don't do them and risk your page. You put in time, money, and effort into something that you want to see 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 and be successful at. Try to be the best. Rachel told me one thing a long time ago. She said, um, pillow I stream like an admin is in my room at all times. They ain't in here at all times. But I guarantee you I'm trying to give you the best show because I want you to come back. And I want in hopes of you gifting me and you liking my vibe so much that you want to return over and over and over again. That's the only way to be successful on the app. I'm making a video in New York next Friday about kids to get off the streets. Okay, Michael. Last night I saw a lady was sleeping on her stream in front of the camera. I saw you. She That's her stream. I have no control. I have a friend that be on here. He be drunk and stuff and he pass out every time. That's them. But I bet they ain't top badges. As simple as that. They not top badges. And, and most tops, um, even if they do intake in something, because I smoke. And it ain't no secret. I smoke right here on my live stream. Um, it's where we don't get belligerent enough to be looking stupid in front of a camera. So back to the rules. Um, those were tags rules. I have a set of rules that I think you should abide by before you um, become a top badge. And these things will help you get your top badge. Um, get a background. I know it's a lot of top badges on the app that don't have one. But it helps your chance because Tag sees that, you's ded that you're dedicating this much of your home to them to show them that you are really good at what you do. So get a background. Um, some people have gotten their badge without it. I think it helps. Have great lighting. It's a big bright light in front of me. I'm sure y'all can see it plain as day. And it's other lights above me as well. I have one over here. I can cut one. I just didn't. Get great lighting. Don't hide in the camera. We see you. Put a profile picture of you or what you look like right now. Then they can't, they got to know they ain't walk into no catfish. They see exactly what you look like. I look just like my picture I took. That picture was taken two days ago. Same hairstyle, same face. Different lipstick, that's it. Different outfit. So don't hide yourself. If, if you scared of the camera and don't want to be in it and you halfway in the screen, you ain't no top badge material. If you can't put a bright light on in front of you and stick that camera in, in front of you and, and be hands-free and sit in here with confidence and look and speak clearly, you're not top badge material. And I'm not trying to dog on no one directly, but this is not a job for everybody. I'm not meant to be a firefighter. I'm scared of fires. I'm not going to run into a burning house. I ain't even going to go near it to see what's going on. I'm not a firefighter. I'm not about to apply for that job. Some people can't handle being a broadcaster. They're not meant to be a broadcaster. This job ain't for everybody. So don't think that I'm sitting here and I'm, do, I'm, I'm, I'm putting something in your head for you to become one. If it wasn't already in you and you wasn't entertaining already before then, this might not be the niche for you. And yes, you can still, um, I guess, make yourself successful on here without a top badge. You can stream. It's just called going live. When you go live, when you hide behind the camera, when it's dark in your room, um, when you don't have no content, when your hair ain't done and you doing whatever, or when you driving in your car, when you riding shirtless and, and your uh, live streaming, you looking like um, it don't matter and saying this live is dry, this live is boring and you know, then you walk in the girls like, where are the ballers at? You know, those type of people ain't top badge streamers. They just people that go live. Pick a lane and be in one. 
figure out what you want to do. There's many different roles you can play on here. You can be somebody's number one supporter and constantly move in that chat on a regular basis because that's what helps keep you trending. I just learned that recently. We think it's big gifts. It's the hearts and the, the chat. So if that chat going boom, 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 it's conversation going in there. They're excited. Everybody in the room is talking. What are they talking about? Let me move them up on the thing because they room is popping. So that's what helps your, your live bump is, is your chat moving. So don't um, think that your live is dry and boring. You make your live dry and boring. Okay, so you have to talk to people. You got to be entertaining. Don't cut the camera on unless you got a plan. Don't cut the camera on unless you don't look good. Don't cut the camera on and hide behind the camera. If you gonna be a top badge, if you just somebody who go live, I go live. I go live a lot, boss lady, I do. I don't have no content. I might have on my bonnet some mornings. But fortunately enough for me, the people that come into my stream love the conversation and like the vibe that all of them put together make. I don't gotta have no content. We can vibe off of music just like he said. What about the music? You could be a whole DJ on here and, and do that as your thing. The bonnet still be cute. Thank you. I've heard that. I've heard that having too many people kicked out of your life can be. Yes. It drops you on trending. So sit there and bump, bump, bump all the people out your room. You don't want nobody to see you. Tag going to make sure don't nobody see you. They're going to drop you right on down to the bottom of the board. So go ahead. Tag honestly don't want nobody to be blocked. They want everybody to have a chance to see you. When us as top badges got an email for trolls, that's why I do this. I ignore them or I play with them. They don't want us to kick out nobody. That's why I almost charge off. Y'all kick out somebody I gotta go out back and get. I gotta clear my block list anyway. About once a week, I do it anyway. Just because. Tag want everybody to see you. But then some people come in being rude or disrespectful, and I hate the phone number thing, of course. So that's my number one, kick them out. But I mean, tag on everybody to see if you pay attention. In the admin's rooms, Rachel's room, um, even Godfather, he's done it now. He ain't even no admin. He's just a streamer like I am. Um, they have no bouncers. You know, so you might just want to um, hold off on the kicking people out. The red is for us. So we could y'all can stand out for me and I can see you when you come to my room. I look at the bouncership that way. Back again to my rules. It was get a background and have great lighting. Stream and talk to everybody in the stream. Hi Kane, how are you? Hi, boss lady, how you doing? Hey Jasmine, hey B. They need to start letting people apply for an admin spot. That's a whole job, Jasmine. It's on Meet Me and it's been a job. So if you feel like that's what you want to be an admin, go to meet me because that's who owns there. Yeah, and, and apply to be. I don't want to be one. I don't want y'all asking me every day, all day, who going to be a top? Who did I pick? Um, I can't get into my account. It's blocked. This, this. I, I know Rachel's sick of it. She got so sick of me. She made a whole post that I am not VIP support. I am your um, top... Uh, Yo, top badge, uh, she just help us with other stuff. She don't do the technical stuff. So I was bugging, bugging, bugging one day, all the way bugging because my gifters couldn't gift me and it wasn't her fault or nothing. But I went to her like, hey, fix this. I need you to fix this. Ain't nobody in VIP support paying me no attention. So when y'all say y'all can't get into a touch with her for a couple days, it happens to me too. I just got to go to that I can go around going to them and make sure she tell them, go fix pillow stuff, because she having a fit over it. So get a background, have great lighting, stream and talk to everybody. Thank each person for every single gift. I'm a drummer and I'm trying to do DJ and you do flyers and videos, that's what's up, Big City. Thank each person for every gift. They don't have to press the button to give it to you. They don't have to do nothing. They can sit there on their phone and just watch you. But they want to be unique and they want to stand out so they should shower you with you. When they shower you with gifts, you should be appreciative enough to say thank you. And sometimes give them your own thank you of, um, you know, 
make it special for him. I watched Chris and on the small shots and bears he did and he just said thank you for him. But when he got roses and cars, he claps. I found it funny. <laughs> he sent out a car. He, whoa, thank you. <laughs> so make your own little special thing that make the person want to gift you because they don't have to gift you. They do it out of the kindness of their heart. Um, do things that make them want to gift you. I play games in my life. I'm giving you informative information in my life right now. If this is um, knowledge to you, you should be giving jewels and tips of appreciation and saying, I'm learning something in her class or I enjoyed this. So let me show her appreciation by gifting her. Um, thank you, boss lady. Appreciate it. Uh, also, families, I believe in families. You should just stand on your own. Thank you, big city. I appreciate it. I believe. I see you, queen. Um, families, if you want to join a family, I suggest you do it after. I would love you to stand out on your own. I have, did not have a family. And yes, I do have one now. Three P is in the house. And that's Pillow's Powerful People. But I don't um, want you to be in a, t a family before you become a top badge. Stand out there on your own. And after you get your badge and you want to come back and join the family, I welcome you with open arms. But, Tag, I want you to show out by yourself. Um, to get your faves up, you need to change your location often. And that helps. And you need to accept all friend requests and send all friend requests. Fellas, I know it's super, super hard for you to give, um, get your faves. I don't know why they just don't give them to men just as fast. But you can, um, I know you are, Nautical. What is your family? Pillows, powerful people. The three P, I'm sure you've seen a couple of them in here. But about the favorites, send out friend requests, B. Change your location so different friends will come up in your area and you'll be able to accept all your friend requests and send them out. They turn into favorites. You get them that way. Harder than trying to take a crap while standing. <laughs> yes. Yes, there's some 3P. You can see it right there. Nautical's in the family, too. Um, so that was for favorites. Um, also, to get your favorites up, um, give Top Badgers and try to stay in these bubbles. Everybody that comes into Top Badgers' lives is always clicking the buttons and seeing who's their number one, two, and three, and all the way down their list. You want to be seen on a page, hit those bubbles and be one of those gifters up in the bubbles because they always being checked on. That will also get you favorites as well. Um, the difference between somebody who go live and somebody who is a broadcaster, the broadcaster and me, I have a background. I have great lighting. I came here with a list of papers and we only went over the first one. Um, I got prepared, which means I'm dressed. I, I my appearance as well. Um, I want you here the whole time. I'm giving you information in hopes that um, you like my show enough to come back over and over and over again. The person who goes live don't have no content. It's dry in there. Nobody is talking. Um, they did not prepare themselves for live. Remember, broadcasting ain't for everybody. Everybody is not meant to be a top badge streamer. That's why they only pick so many. They are the best of the best. So if it's not your lane to be the top broadcaster and learn to say, hey, well, maybe I'll just go live. I just want to make a couple dollars going live because the truth of the matter is you can make great money off of this app. My most successful week on here, I cashed out $1,000 for seven days in a row, making 7000 in a week. It was absolutely amazing. So you can earn a, a substantial income off of this app. And for the people that's viewing the video, all the gifts and things you see falling on the screen, it look like animation. They're all, it actually is money. This gift's right here. It's the store. Thank you, Nautica. And it gives me diamonds. And you have to have, when, once you get diamonds, you convert your diamonds into cash. And that's how you cash out. In order to cash out, you need to have a PayPal account. If you do not have a PayPal account, you cannot get paid off a tag. You need to have a PayPal account. 
So download PayPal, get the little debit card, have it come to your house. And once you get up to 80,000 diamonds, you can cash out. That's the minimal amount. Above that is 200,000 diamonds. That's for $500. That's the middle amount you need. Above that and the most amount of money you can cash out per day is $1,000. And that's equivalent to 400,000 diamonds. So with that being said about the money that goes right into the amount of money, coins, and all of the um, what everything is worth. So you can take off the word so you can get a screenshot of the list. This is for my gifters. A lot of people think this is for my streamers so they can see how much money they making. This list I made right here is for my gifters. I want my gifters to be mindful of what you're giving a person. Because if you love them like you do and you want to support their stream and this may be their only form of income, you might want to gift them accordingly so that they be... Um, happy that you did gift them and if you can't afford it watch the videos hold their hearts chat to them but if you got it to give them this is what you're giving them you welcome me the first line is a bear the bear that gets sent out can i get a bear the bear is equivalent to 50 coins for the gifter uses 50 coins right here it puts one penny. I couldn't even get a penny. I, I, there you go. Nisi just gave me a penny. It gives me four diamonds. So the bear, again, is equivalent to 50 coins. And it gives one penny. It puts four diamonds on my board. The ever so popular roses. I love them. I love them to death. But when you give roses, you should be mindful. They cost the gifter 500 coins. They're equivalent to 10 cents. Give her a lot of roses if you like her. They only put 40 diamonds on the board. Up underneath the roses, we have a car. It's, it costs the gifter 5,000 coins. It adds $1 to the streamer. And it, call, it gives 400 diamonds on the board. Then we have a small castle. It's worth 25,000 coins. It gives the streamer $5. and puts 20,000 diamonds on the board. Under that, we have the big castle. It's worth 50,000 coins. It adds $10 to the streamer and gives them 4,000 diamonds on their board. After that, we have the ever so popular jet. It's equivalent to 100,000 coins, which gives the streamer $20 and adds 8,000 diamonds on their board. Then we have the bank heist. It's equivalent to 125,000. Hello, send that to my inbox, please. You can screenshot this right here. Or you can take your time to write it down or watch the video. This is why I hold it up the whole time. The bank heist is 125,000 coins. It's equivalent to $25. It has 10,000 diamonds onto their board. And then we have the red carpet. It costs the gift there 250,000 coins. It's equivalent to $50. And it has 20,000 diamonds to their uh, diamond count. Then we have the most expensive item on the app is the dragon. It's equivalent, thank you, love. It's equivalent to 50,000 coins. It adds $100 to the streamer and it puts 40,000 diamonds on their board. Here again is the money count and the numbers for everything. I took a screenshot pillow. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You're welcome, Black Beauty. If y'all learning some things, you should gift a streamer. Thank you. I appreciate all the tips and the love since I'm giving you some information and being informative and giving you content. I will hope you will tip the streamer and be mindful of the tips that you're giving the streamer. Hey. Everybody get their screenshot. Thank you. I appreciate the shake, Mama Jazzy. You're welcome, God's gift. Appreciate it. All right, y'all. Any questions? Hi, Loopy. Any questions? Thank you, Mama. I would like for you to stop by my live and tell people about this um, big city. In your live stream, you can tell them that Pillow teaches a class every Thursday at 5 o'clock. And um, I'm going to go ahead and say it on this show. Anybody that's watching, my show will be listed on the banner soon. So you'll see it yourself at the top of the app. I'm good, Luffy. How you doing it? You loving it? Yeah, I do it every Thursday. Every Thursday at 5 o'clock. 
smart. Yes, yes, yes. Any questions, anybody? Pull up, Mama Jazzy. Hey, Mama Jazzy going to be the star of that YouTube video. Appreciate the love, babe. Any questions on anything that I went over? You're welcome, Loopy. For those who wish to know the math, do the receiver gets 80% of the gifts? Yes. When you gift a gift to us, tag takes 20%. That's how the app keep running. Thank you, Sin. So um, for the app to keep going, like um, it might have cost her 15 cents to send the roses, but I only got 10. So tag took the other little bit. Yeah. Easier math. Um, a jet gives the streamer $20. Tag took five. It costs the, the gifter $25. It gives us 20 Thank you, Mo Gang. Appreciate it. I've been on here for 10 years on and off. And you're the first person that took the time to help other people. Thank you so much. You're welcome, Lion. Listen, I do this because nobody taught me. And once I learned all of this, it was easier for me to tell y'all than for y'all to just figure it out. And I've been doing it on a set time and day for so long that um, I love you too, Mo Gang. I wanted y'all to know it. Why do we have to be crabs in a bucket, baby? We can be here to uplift each other. Let me help you, okay? A couple people help me. I just learned bits and pieces from everybody, you know? So I'm here to share the information to everybody, even if you ain't to become a top streamer. At least you learn something. At least you know the value of the, a gift or how to get your faves up. You know, at least you learn something. Thank you, Brown Honey. At least you learn something, you know? You're welcome. You're welcome. We ain't got to be crabs in a bucket because you might know something I don't. I hope you teach me. Any questions, y'all? I'm gonna end my recording for YouTube. Everybody in the room that's yellow, can you please go to YouTube and subscribe to Pillow TV and send me a screenshot of it in my inbox that you subscribe. That is what turns you red. That is what gets you a, to be a bouncer in my room. That means more to me than the gifts because my YouTube, I need 1,000 subscribers and I'm only at 600. So let's bring that number up because um, if you learn something in here, I'd appreciate that little subscription button real, real quick. Not for the bell to come on or nothing. And anyway, I'm doing a dragon and carpet giveaway off of my subscribers. If you comment, like, and watch all my videos and put your tag name, I'm doing a giveaway off that as well. You're welcome, Nisi. Thank you, Miss Lovable Loyalty. Thank you, Mr. E. Any questions? No more questions. I am going to end my video, but I'm going to keep my stream going for about maybe seven more minutes just to give y'all some more time for questions. But I'm going to end my YouTube video, so it's going to sound like I'm ending my live, but I'm really not. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining and watching my YouTube video. I appreciate you. Please comment and like the video. I would love to hear your input on everything you learned in this video. And once again, thank you for every single heart that was held. Thank you for every single comment that was typed. And thank you for every single gift that was given. I love you. I truly do. Because you could have been anywhere in the world doing anything in the world, but you chose right now to spend it with me. And for that one reason, I love you. You have a blessed and prosperous rest of your day and evening. Until later, my loves.